about this girl, baby, I should I met her in Philly, and her name was Brad See, we be making love constantly That's why my eyes are ashamed Blackbird, the way that we kiss Isn't like any other way that I be kissing When I'm kissing, what I'm missing, won't you miss it? Brown sugar, babe I get so high off your love, I don't know how to feel You're a brown sugar, I want some of your brown sugar, I want some of your brown sugar, I Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family. Click the like and subscribe button if you love the content that you're seeing. Okay, so it's a beautiful day outside. Come on, I, got, I have to show you guys this. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day outside. And today I don't have any food. I have no, I literally have no food. Um, so we're going to take you guys to Walmart and we're going to see how is Walmart in China and we're going to compare prices and everything and the process of China and what products they have um, compared to the Walmart in other countries. And if you haven't noticed yet, I'm using my Samsung phone to record this vlog, if you're wondering, because the quality is, a, you can tell the difference with the quality of the camera, um, because I want to show you guys um, when you're catching the bus in China too, we have to scan, I want to show you the apps and everything, and then getting into Walmart, I want to show you guys how, um, how, how do we pay for things in China, because most of, the, most of, your, most of our things are, are on our accounts. So like we bind our bank accounts and everything on, on apps, and the predominant ones are WeChat and Alipay. Before uh, I left to come to China, when I go to the supermarket and then I am cashing out my, my groceries and everything, the plastic bags that they use to pack my groceries were free. But in China, it's not free. You actually have to pay for your bags. If you don't have any bags, you're gonna end up having to carry everything in your own hands. Yeah, so when I first came to the city, I bought a lot of groceries and um, I was forced to purchase some of these bags, some of these bags from Walmart, you can see here. And each of these bags are 20 RMB a piece. And I think I bought about four of them. So you need a bag, you need these bags. But the good thing about it is they're recyclable. So you can recycle it and you can use it again um, for every time you're going back to shop there or anywhere. Anywhere in China, if you want to shop, you can always carry a bag with you. That is vital. That is important. Also, it is vital to carry a backpack for those heavy items. I usually put like glass items like olive oil, glass olive oil, maybe wine or something like that, like heavy stuff. So it like releases the weight a bit rather than holding it in your hands, you can use a backpack. So yeah, so that's the thing with China. Uh, but recently in my country, um, we just started it. Like it just, it's been, it's been just initiated where you have to buy your own bags now, or you can bring your own bags now when you when you're going shopping. And if you don't have bags, then you will have to purchase um, the plastic bags at the store. Okay. Anyway, let's go to Walmart. All right. So I'm on my way to the bus stop. So I want to show you guys what's it like also to take the bus in China. And again, I'm using my Samsung phone to record so you guys can see. Um, so yeah, so basically when you go um, on the bus, you can actually pay, you can either pay 2 yuan, they have coins in coin form. But most of the people here in China they use apps, so I'm gonna show you the first app. The first app is Ali Alipay, the blue one. The blue one here, you click that. And then it has four options. You can see here, you can see scan, pay, collect, um, transport, and then pocket. So when you're taking the bus, you would click transport. So I will click transport, and then you would see here, a barcode would show up. I'm gonna do it fast because I don't know if this is like <laughs> safe to do that. So a barcode will show up, and when you get on the bus, there's a machine that you use. So you just take this, you, you take your barcode, and then you scan it, and then it automatically takes away the funds. So 
um, bus transportation in China only costs two two RMB, um, which is why uh, the majority of students here in China they take the bus. I think at least. But for me, um, it all depends. I'll take the bus if it's really too if it's really too hot or it's too cold. But yeah, taking the bus in China, if you want to save money, it's it's better to take the bus. However, you know, obviously there's going to be a con to that, which is time. So you need to leave earlier than expected, and sometimes the bus buses can take a while to come, especially this bus here that I'm going to take. This bus takes a while to get here. Uh, I think it. I think because it's a very small city, um, so this so the bus. I don't know. There's not much buses that runs in this city, so I better be on the lookout. I better be on the lookout <laughs> for for the bus when it comes. Otherwise, I will be standing here for a good 30 minutes up to an hour. So I will be waiting on the bus. guys so I'm done with the bus um, but I still have about a five minute walk until we get to Walmart um, luckily it's not the Sun isn't out and it's not too hot so I think oh actually the the Walmart is actually located in the downtown area so I'm gonna show you guys some clips of the downtown area I'm gonna feel like a jerk, motherfucker. I can hear your tears on the 
so Okay, everyone so i'm gonna show you guys what i got so far uh i came here for onions onions sweet peppers lemons oranges grapes i got some lettuce as well lettuce uh cucumbers potatoes oh i love these these are sweet potatoes i love those and so far broccoli okay so now i'm gonna go to the bread i want to go to the bread section
Yeah, so as you guys can see, the Walmart in China has a, a many variety of Western products. As you can, oh, even behind me here, well, these are more of Chinese chips. But like I showed you guys earlier, they have Lay's. They have, they have so many variety of flavors of Lay's. Uh, they have the cucumber, cucumber flavor, Mexican chicken tomato, uh, lime, lime flavor, that's interesting, uh, Texas grill barbecue, they have so many things, um, they even have this one, Italian, Italian red meat flavor, uh, I'm trying to cut out eating these snacks and stuff like that, so I probably won't, I'll probably just get this one, this is one of my favorite ones, the smoking barbecue flavor one, I love this one, this one is really good. Okay, so I have to show you guys my favorite. Okay, I love eating nuts. No pun intended. Um, this is this is my favorite one here. Unsalted, unsalted mixed. It has almonds, cashews, and um, pecan. Yeah, almond, cashews, and pecan. This is one of my favorite to get my protein in. So I always get this one. I already placed one in my trolley so I don't have to put it back there. Um, so this is everything that I have so far. I got, let's see, I got wheat, wheat bread. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I shouldn't be buying this, but I, uh, I love it. It's like a, it's like a loaf, a loaf bread, like a pound, like a pound cake thing with chocolate chips inside. I just got regular fruits and vegetables and ooh, this is my favorite. I like this one, champagne. This is my favorite champagne in China. Uh, I got yogurt, yogurt, strawberry yogurt, uh, eggs. You can go wrong with eggs. So I usually, I usually get like two trays, two trays of this. I usually get two trays of eggs that last me for a long time. So I don't have to keep coming. And then fruits and vegetables and all that regular boring stuff. Yeah. Okay, let's continue okay so when it comes to noodles my favorite one is this one it's called indomie i used to eat it a lot uh during my undergraduate uh years when i went off to college in um pensacola florida uh these were pretty good but i already have some at home and i was suggested to try something different so i'm gonna try this one instead i'm gonna try these ones and then I will decide later. But yeah, Indomie. Indomie is the bomb. I love Indomie. Okay, so I'm gonna check out. I think I have enough stuff. Something I don't like quite like with the Walmart in this city is the trolleys are so small. Like the things that I got, it looks like I got a lot of stuff, but I think it's because the trolley is just too small. So let's go to the let's go to checkout and see how much everything that I got cost. Okay guys, so I wanted to get out of there. It was, it was getting pretty noisy. Um, so what was my total? Da, da, da. Okay, so my total was one, 1,337 RMB. So 1,137.94 RMB. Uh, so I calculated it and that's that's roughly 175 us dollars for everything that i bought and i am going to this stuff that i got it's gonna probably pull it better it's gonna have to last me until the month so what i usually do is i shop for the month because as you can see it's a it's pretty hectic in china it's a lot of work when you're buying groceries and then you have to take 
the bag, pack everything yourself, and take it outside with the trolley, call the Didi to take you home. Um, so yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're again, if you're new, uh, please click the like and subscribe button for more content, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>